What's up, you guys? So it's been a long journey doing uh, some of these pops and seeing that the Dragon Ball Z is sort of stack up on me and I have yet to do one of these videos. I'm going to do a complete Dragon Ball Z Funko Pop collection video. Missing one grail, I think we all know what that is, but I actually got a dope custom made of that. We'll check it out towards the end. And this will exclude any sort of sticker variant or box variant. Uh, and no, absolutely no, zero chromes. I hate them. They're stupid, disgusting. Don't get them. They lack characteristics of a regular Funko Pop. Not down with it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into it. I'll try to show all of them either one at a time or within groups of each other. So let's get to it. First off, we're going to start with the pops that I normally keep behind my television, actually, against my big wall here. And we have the Whis, King Kai Bubbles, Zeno, and the New York Comic Con Piccolo. Next, we have the Specialty Series Max Power Master Oshi, FYE Metallic Piccolo with one arm, and the common version of that, also the Piccolo from the first wave of DBZ pops. Then we have more Master Roshi, the FYE Master Roshi, Krillin with Destructo Disc right here, and the regular Krillin. Then we have Chi Chi, Yamcha, Yamcha and Poir, Chao Tzu and TN, three Bomas ranging from Dragon Ball, uh, Namekian, uh, Boma and towards the end of Z, as well as Videl. Moving down here, uh, this is my bottom row. I, I like to have all my villains here. So the ones you can see is the Mecha Frieza, Final Form Frieza, First Form Frieza in his pod, Hit, King Cold, Kid Boo, Raditz, Nappa, and then you come over to Jiren, the first Super Saiyan Broly we ever got, which is a part of the San Diego Comic-Con. And then you have Android 17, 18, 16 Metallic, and regular 16. And then we have the three Samusus and the enlarged one as well. And then the Rose, Goku, and the, the first released edition. Goku and the Goku Black Common. Up next, we have the Majin Buu Common in his regular pink. The Chocolate Buu, which is a con exclusive. We have the three perfect cells. One is glow in the dark. One is a metallic. And one is just the common. Then we move down here to the Go Tanks. Super Saiyan 3, the regular Go Tanks, and the Ghost Go Tanks. Next to those, I have put the regular Go Ten in his, you know. Next, got the Go Tens, the regular Go Ten, and Super Saiyan Go Ten. I tried to get a card to go with that one, but it didn't work out too well, so. Either way, it's still pretty dope. I like these pops and that they actually gave them to us. I would love to see just the regular kid trunks. Next up, we have Gohan with his sword, which is a GameStop exclusive. Gohan training outfit. Super Saiyan Gohan. Super Saiyan 2 GameStop exclusive Gohan. And then we have the Vegeta from the first wave. And the metallic variant that was a con exclusive pop. Moving down, we have the over 9,000 crushing a scouter, Hot Topic exclusive Vegeta, and then the common and box lunch, box and tea metallic Vegeta next to each other. And this is one of the chalice exclusive Vegeta Funko Pops. Moving on to one of my more favorite ones, it is the Training Vegeta, as you can tell by the card right there. 
It's probably one of the more iconic scenes, I think, that's not have to do with complete battles. Uh, Vegeta eating noodles, Batman Vegeta right before Frieza showed up. We have Vegeta from Super. We have Super Saiyan Vegeta, the regular Final Flash Vegeta, which was a con exclusive Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan PX exclusive Vegeta next to the Majin over 9,000 exclusive. And then next to those two, the Super Saiyan Blues. One is from Chalice that has a chase variant and this one is a glow power up. And the one next to it is a GameStop exclusive Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Moving right along and try and knock out both. So I, I like to keep these pops sideways for space <laughs> and we have the gohan from right when z picks up as a kid we have kid goku um this is the gamestop exclusive on the nimbus and this is just the common there is an exclusive galactic toys then we have a uh, super saiyan entertainment earth glow in the dark goku the metallic chalice exclusive Goku. Beneath that, we have Goku signed by Sean Schimmel, base form. That is a Hot Topic exclusive. And then two pops that are really close together uh, in likeness, but one is an exclusive and one was a part of the common wave. We have the Goku with Kamehameha GameStop. Next up, we have Goku in the World Tournament and the Metallic uh, Loot Crate exclusive Super Saiyan Goku. Above them, the original Super Saiyan Blue Goku from the actual Resurrection F movie. And then we have Super Saiyan 3 Goku from GameStop exclusive. The regular Gokus, um, this is actually a little bit newer than this one, but it all is Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And then to wrap up this row, we have the Super Saiyan God Goku with the red hair. We have the Super Saiyan, like Battle, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Battle Warrant Goku, Hot Topic exclusive. And one of my favorites, the Ultra Instinct Goku. And finishing up the Gokus. Uh, pretty much is the Goku eating noodles, which is a Amazon exclusive. He has the halo and everything. One of the doper pops, I feel like. Then you go into the Vegitos and you have the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan uh, Hot Topic exclusive, which is metallic. I don't know if you can tell by the sh like shine there. And then you have a AAA anime exclusive Vegito Super Saiyan. Next, we're moving into the GOAT one. Trunks, future trunks, future trunks, future trunks, future trunks, Super Saiyan future trunks, Super Saiyan trunks, and future trunks, metallic chase hot topic exclusive. And these are probably some of my prized possessions. I love the trunks. Definitely my favorite character in DBZ. And they didn't do too bad on the pops at all. Love it. And then we're gonna skip those and head up here to the new, one of the new pops, and that is the Super Saiyan 2 Glow in the Dark GameStop. I did a review on that. And these Kales, we have four in the collection so far. There was word of a con one, which they might bring down the road sometime later. But this is the Box Lunch Glow in the Dark, the Super Saiyan Kale uh, Berserk Glow in the Dark chalice exclusive and then the regular chalice next to it coming in next we have the con super saiyan god goku from this past san diego comic con vegeta kind of looking like the bad man just a little blue and the metallic adult gohan next to super saiyan cauliflower which is a common and one of the newer DBZ exclusives, the Flocked Champa Hot Topic exclusive. Now, this is a pop that I'm actually pretty kind of bummed about. This is a fake to this pop. And as you can tell, this one is a lot lighter than this one is. 
It looks a little grayer. It's just off all together. The armor is actually a lighter color than what it is on that one. So this is actually just my fake Vegeta that I normally keep right here. And he is blocking the once Grail Galactic Toys Goku in his orange jumpsuit on the Flying Nimbus. Metallic Whis, the Chase Power Up Chalice Exclusives Vegeta, the Chase PX Vegeta Super Saiyan 2. Beerus, one of the first ones that uh, came out, especially exclusive wise. This is a uh, grail for some. I know it's in the 60 and up range. Flocked Beerus, which came out, I think, a year or two ago. The 2016 Comic Con Metallic Beerus. The Golden Black Eyes Frieza. And next to it, one of the big ones, and that is the Red Eyes Gold Frieza. Right above that, we have Hercule in his regular form and Super Saiyan Glow, which is one of my favorite pops kind of in the, in the DBZ line. We have the common version of the Super Saiyan Kale with Future Mai next to her. And these are two of my prized possession, as you can tell. The homie, Lazy Youth, hooked it up. If you can tell what that is in there, I actually did an unboxing of both of these earlier on, uh, or kind of late last year, actually. And there is, this is a metallic, this is a metallic, uh, go, Jesus. This is a metallic Vegeta Gallic gun, and it was once a Chalice exclusive. He actually painted it up and got it to look like the Arlia. And this is the metallic Goku, but it also glows. So actually pretty dope. I appreciate those still to this day, bro. Finishing up the regular sized pops. We got the Chase uh, Chalice Collectibles Gallic gun Vegeta. And then we have the metallic Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, which is actually signed by Chris Savitt. We have the Glow in the Dark Galactic Toys Whis and the common version of the Adult Gohan. Uh, one of my, my favorite ones, and this is the Box Lunch exclusive Goku and Vegeta Baseball from Dragon Ball Super. Uh, the two universes had to get in a fight, or a, a baseball match, rather. The failed Fusion Go Tanks, which is another Box Lunch exclusive. And I'm pretty sure this is the Funimation exclusive Goten and Trunks and their fusion stance. Then we move on to some of the Shinrons. We have the Poranga from ECC, the Galactic Toys Shinron, the Gold Shinron, and the Emerald Jade Shinron sitting next to the Grade 8 Goku and Grade 8 Vegeta. And then to end this, we have the Super Saiyan or legendary Super Saiyan six inch Broly Chase with the regular Broly right underneath. Well, that is it, you guys. That is the full collection. Sorry if that was a little rough, maybe towards the end or just in general. Uh, try to do what I can over here. I will say the only one I'm still missing is the actual Funko made Arlia. Other than that, I got it made. I try to stay up on this and the Spider Man all the time no matter what uh, those are definitely my prizes and my collection let me know if you guys have taken this long road on the dbz train or if you had to call it quits or if you were never interested to begin with i would love to hear what you guys have to say i'm proud of my collection i've been collecting since late 2014 uh big time 2015 so it's things i really love to collect i appreciate you guys for always coming through Thank you for taking time. Take it easy.